Hi, hi folks. Steve here, once again. And Bell. Nice to see you again. Um, I think it's our second go at that review. If go is the correct word to, to use. Um, but we're reviewing cigars tonight. Um, perhaps maybe we... Well, <laughs> maybe sliding off to this side with one or two other things, but, but the main... The main view, review, a review, oh, that's great, I'm going to get out there, but the main review tonight is the cigar, the cigar, and the cigar of tonight is purchased from my good friend Bill West here, and it is, Bill, can you say it, tell us, just a wee cigar, it's a wee cigar, <laughs> it's the El Rey de Mundo, which is the King Le of the world. King of the world. Apparently in Cuban. But anyway, it's the petite... Steve, you know the words. Well, it's the petite la belle... No, la belle époque. That's what we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking of. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Well, I go with yeah. la belle époque. But it's the... Well, let's let's refer to the notes. Well, we'll just... At least you've seen the cigar. Um, we can refer to the notes in a minute and tell you exactly what it is. See, second one's even worse than the first one because now we're thinking about it. First one, it was straight off the cuff. Yeah. But but it is another one of these exclusivo uh, Renio, I still can't say that word, Unio, which is United Kingdom, Kingdom, as we know. Yeah. Last week's first one was the Flor de Canal. Which is the brand new one, and we've worked a little bit backwards here. Um, to one that was released in 2009. Yeah, this, this one I purchased uh, last week, but one more for you guys out there. But, um, Steve gifted me one last, day, uh, last week, um, a cigar that is, of course. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> now, we've had a couple of drinks, by the way, um, if we're slurring and, 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 and getting on a a wee bit off the, 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 the track, but there you go. Anyway, we were uh, the floor of the colonel last week, um, which is around about, what, 1,200 uh, boxes released? It turned out it was only 1,200. We yeah. did say in the previous first, uh, when it, we did there, it was 2,000. Yeah. Wow, it's only 1,200 boxes. Yeah. And I've seen the video of uh, the release party at Langham's. You lucky people, as I said the last time. And there was a heck of a lot of you guys there. And if all the boxes... I mean, there's probably a couple of hundred of you guys there. So, um, if you all snap up a box, then there you go. Without the people around and about, they're not going to be on the go long. That's Luckily sure. enough, we've got a box pre-order. As they were saying, once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. But, but they're actually smoking. The, the actual, I've just looked it up just to make sure. The, the actual, it's called the El Rey de Mundo Chou de l'Epoque Edmundo. Mundo. Okay, which translates from the French, the choice of age. So, nice, nicely aged people ourselves, almost as mature as the cigars. So, we'll just stay, uh, have a wee break, cut the cigar, have a wee taster of it or whatever, and we'll come back to it in a moment. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> We've been debating where we're going with this cigar. <laughs> the short and long of it is that it's a short cigar. <laughs> anyway, it's around about four inches long. Four and three eighths. There you go, be precise. W. 52. 52. Ring gauge. Uh, slightly longer than the, the floor of the can will be sampled there. there. But getting on with this particular one, um, it's looking. It's, it's looking. <laughs> It's looking mid-range in colour. Um, it's not too dark, not too light. Uh, it seems to be perfectly formed, which is a silly description because most of these cigars are pretty good anyway. Mm -hmm. but, but, but it's not. It's not like a non-Cuban. It's got its slight flaws. Non-Cuban cigars to me are, are so perfect. It's, it's incredible. But being a handmade cigar, which I'm sure it is. It's slightly too there. Mm -hmm. I've got bit, some yeah. green, like we shady spots with the, you know, yeah. where the, the sun's either blistered or a bit of dampness blistered on it. A bit, uh, 
shady spots, but um, I mean, look at it, look at the cap on the thing. Wow. Yeah. It's a beast, of, you know, 52 girth and such a short cigar. I'm trying to think. What else is? Can you think? I mean, it says petite mundo. I mean, is that the petite mundo size? Is it maybe? It no, is. I think the girth maybe uh, suggests a bit bigger, bigger, which is uh, wide. It's as broad as long as they say. That's the neck of the but anyway, it's, 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 it's almost freckled, as Pastor Steve would say, um, with, with, with green um, spots. But that's going to be an actual thing, I suppose. But anyway, slightly to the other, I'd say, um, it's, 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 it's looking welcoming for me, just mm -hmm. to get, get on with it. And mm -hmm. I just cut the thing and get on with it. But having, having said that, we need to maybe just get a wee smell. Alright, I was thinking that, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot of actual smell off the thing. It's quite. <sighs> well, maybe that's a. Let's just get the. Feel I got this cigar. So I, I, I was away for a couple of days in Edinburgh. I was going up I was doing Edinburgh for a day or two, and just purchased a couple of these cigars. So they've been travelling for a couple of days, uh -huh. and they've been on their own. So they've been breathing whatever's been going on in, in a polythene bag. So it's maybe lost a wee bit of aroma in a way. Um, so I'm not pointing hanging around and keeping it to, to no. recover. Because I'm sure it hasn't lost anything other than perhaps maybe a slight aroma. Um, so I think it's the time to get chopping. Give it a wee cut though. There there we go. Go. See what we're getting. Yeah. See what I get anyway. You can take your time, whatever. There you go, Just well, just take a wee snip off the top, not a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm. it's, it's a spongy mm -hmm. cigar. I was thinking of myself. It's almost sticky to the feel. Mm -hmm. you, you can go me in the lips. <laughs> I'm taking that's from a cigar. Mm. But, yeah, but it, it tell me it's sticky. Whether it's been lying here in the, under the lights and the, the heat's making the oils, yeah. Just, just sweat a wee bit, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. When you think about it, the draw is um, medium to light draw, I would say, you know, as in like resistance to it, it's, it's pretty easy draw. It's not too easy, thankfully, you know, how we, then I like them when they're really wide open. It's nothing worse than a cigar, it just draws. And of course, well, there is. Yeah. There's one thing worse than a cigar that draws is a cigar that doesn't draw at all. But uh, this cigar, just under sort of medium resistance, I would say. Nothing wrong with it at all. Quite happy, quite looking forward to lighting it up and getting it going. Um, probably we'll have a wee start up of the cigar and we'll get back to you with the flavours as they begin. Yeah, we said I'm getting a slight saltiness sound. Oh, yeah. The, the green saltiness. It's a bit crunchy between the two. Yeah. Like, so yeah. The old Sancho Panza, remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember the old Sancho Panza, mm -hmm. the big, San, uh, what was it called again? The big one. The 12 inch. 12 inch. It's scary. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> the scary, <laughs> the scary yeah, Sancho yeah, Panza. Yeah, the Sancho. Didn't he just call the Sancho? Sancho. Yeah, not long ago. It was really salty. Mm -hmm. Tasted a few of these in Madrid when we were across there. We've been in Madrid a few times and some great yeah. friends and some nice places across there. Silly. But anyway. Anyway, before we, 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 we move on, yep. in comparison there, mm -hmm. <laughs> strangely enough, I, I'm going to do a wee swap. Ah, okay, are you getting a... No, nah, yours is a bigger, is ah, more resistant. Strangely enough, the same, same box. It's the same box, our brothers, they sat side by side and uh, when I purchased them, the, the box, whether that may be they've been mixed. Some others, who knows, some other boxes. That's so true. Anyway, right now, it's That's easier. This, this, is, this is two different cigars. It feels like it. Feels they, like they look alike. Yeah, but they're brothers. But Tom going to tip the head there. Mm -hmm. the something else isn't there. <laughs> they, 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 they draw is slightly different. It's, it's, it's tight. The, the, yeah, the but color, not tight. The, yeah, the color of tobacco is, is again slightly different. It's, this is probably a darker cigar. I mean, I don't know if it, again, folks, we do these sorts of things. Again, we're new to this, but I suppose 
if you can see that difference, um, this is Billy's one, which is this one here, is a darker cigar than mine. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, let's see how they go, and we'll come back to you, right? See you in a minute. 